Hi everyone. I have a poem for you today by Garrett Hongo, and he is a Japanese American poet. He was born in Hawaii and grew up in Hawaii and also outside of LA. So I first learned about this poet a few weeks ago in a class I'm taking, a Harvard Extension class called Poetry in America for Teachers, The City from Whitman to Hip Hop. And I really like this poem because it's, he writes about this festival called the Oban Festival. It's a Japanese festival of the dead in his community in California. But he ends up writing this beautiful story about the way the world of the dead and the world of the living interact. And so I'll read it for you and then tell you uh, some of what I've noticed. I Got Heaven by Garrett Hongo. I swear that in Gardena, on a moonlit suburban street, there are souls that twirl like kites lashed to the wrists of the living, and spirits who tumble in a solemn limbo between 164th and the long river of stars to Amida's paradise in the west. As though I belonged, I've come from my life of papers and exile to walk among these penitents at the festival of the dead, the booths full of sellers hawking rice cakes and candied plums, all around us the rhythmic chant of Minyo bursting through the loudspeakers, calling out the mimes and changes to all who dance. I stop at a booth and watch a man, deeply tanned from work outdoors, pitch bright, fresh quarters into blue plastic bowls. He wins a porcelain cat, a fishnet bag of marbles, then a bottle of shoyu and a rattle shaped like tam-tam he gives to a child. I hear the words of a Motown tune carrying through the gaudy air. Got sunshine on a cloudy day. Got the month of May. As he turns from the booth and re-enters the river of heaven, these dancers winding in brocades and silk sleeves, a faithlit circle, briefly as warm in the summer night. So I like how he is literally writing about this Oban festival, but he ends up talking about how people who have died are kind of always with us. And although it starts in, I think, with, with kind of a dark undertone here, there are souls that twirl like kites lashed to the wrists of the living and spirits who tumble in a solemn limbo. That sounds pretty dark, lashed to the wrists. That sounds kind of violent. They're, in a, they're tumbling in a solemn limbo. But then by the end of the poem, he has kind of similar imagery, but much more positive. So after this kind of little musical interlude, I, I think he kind of uses the music to move between worlds because after the music, he turns from the bo booth and re-enters the river of heaven. And these dancers winding in brocades and silk sleeves. That's really similar imagery to the twirling like kites, the souls twirling like kites in the beginning. Well, I don't know that he's he's definitely referencing those souls in the first stanza. It ends on this really positive note, a faithlit circle, briefly as warm in the summer night. And so thinking about this poem today, I mean, thinking about death right now is, is really stressful and sad because so many people have been dying from this virus around the world. But I think that this poem, in this poem, Hongo provides a hopeful view on what it means to remember and memorialize people who have died, whether or not our society values those people or memorialize them appropriately, they're always there with us. And I think that's, that's really nice. So I hope you like the poem and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.